So today we have a session about how to frame uh, wooden framing models, how to make these models in the BIM uh, environment, and then how automatically to uh, bring them into the uh, automated production lines. Uh, today with me is uh, Mr. Uh, Hansbert Ott, he's Seo of Weimann, and uh, he's going to continue later with um, explaining uh, what kind of production lines um, they have. And my name is Renato Yocciene, and I will try today to explain how you can bring all, inf all information from Revit into the Vimal machine. Okay, a little bit first about EGA CAD. Uh, we are operating since 1988. Uh, and we, at the moment we sold more than 8,000, 9,000 commercial licenses in 130 countries. We actually Autodesk um, uh, authorized developers and also we have authorized training and certification centers. Uh, we help make it easier to bring BIM uh, to life by eliminating tasks that do not create uh, value. So today uh, you are going to see uh, uh, all possibilities and the new possibilities how to create uh, uh, beam wood uh, framing models and how to uh, push the data into automated CAD CAM uh, production lines uh, from Revit development. Uh, because we have actually, as AGCAT, we have created a new application that has an export uh, from Revit to uh, automated panel production lines. So first we're going to frame the house. We will start from the um, early beginning. We will take architectural model. We will frame the walls and floors and then we will push and make uh, VOOP files which will be later used in manufacturing. Um, so now you will learn uh, how to frame walls and floors in Revit uh, using our created wood framing wall plus and wood framing floor plus. Uh, then how you can predefine different operations and the rules for the fully automated performance using the Weimann production lines. Um, and then uh, you will see how structural designers can make decisions directly in Revit uh, during modeling process um, and push it in, into the production. So first we're going to start with Revit with a plain model, uh, then we're going to frame it. Uh, using uh, wood framing solutions, then uh, we will export that into the Weimann web machine and then it will be ready, this file will be ready to go uh, into the manufacturing process. Okay, so in the end of the session, uh, we will give you an answers to your question. So uh, if during my, our presentations you will have any questions, you can write these questions into the questions dialog and then in the end we will try to answer them. And now uh, I would like to switch the screen uh, to Mr. Hansbert Ott's uh, screen and he's going to continue with um, uh, explaining and showing how uh, really production lines are working. Hello, my name, my name is, hi, hello to everybody, my name is Hansbert Ott, I'm the managing director of Weinmann. And I'm very happy that I can. Uh, the uh, that I have the possibility here to, to, explain the Weinmann company and introduce it. So. The Weinmann company was founded 1985. In 1993, uh, we produced the first CNC control production line. And 1998, we integrated in the HOMAC group. With this uh, integration, we have the possibility to to work around the whole the whole world. And uh, as you can see here on the global here, that we have our machines all in all five continents installed. 2000, since 2000, we are the market leader for the production and prefab housing industry. 2014, we, we installed 5,000 machines worldwide. So, 
how are the 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 information running from the architecture program into the machines so first of all it's starting with a, a, a software from the architecture then over the IFC interface it is going into a CAD system to make the element the elements for the walls, for the floors, for the roofs and then over the interface we go to they create a file and then we go into the machine and produce the elements till uh, all the, the elements are ready uh, whether it's open elements or closed elements or bring it on site and assemble this together and uh, yeah the big advantage uh, all over the world will be and uh, the absolute future is uh, the prefabricating prefabricating of of all the elements what are the advantages it's the short building time it's independent from the weather condition it's a high quality you can control the quality quality you can calculate the costs exactly you have the waste reduction it's very profitable and efficient and it's an investment in the future very important thing that this installation what you are doing will be as flexible as possible if I think about the last 10 years and the last 15 years in the housing industry you know this there are a lot of changes and I think also for the next 10 years we have a lot more changings in the housing industry and this is a very important thing to get the information direct from the architecture program into the machine to have not too much people in, in installed in, uh, in the office uh, so that we get as I said but uh, this will be uh, explained afterwards from Agacat how you get the information direct from the uh, architecture system into our machines. So what is the Pro Weinmann product range? The, the, our range is, first of all we have the carpentry machines to, uh, to cut the elements in the lengths, make the holes and 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 for the walls, for the floors, for the roofs. Uh, so as we get the information from the CAD system. Then we have the tables in different uh, possibilities uh, with length conveyors, cross conveyors, tilting and so on. And also a CNC framing station, framing station to prefabricate the framework CNC controlled, then uh, different bridges, uh, multifunction bridges to nail or fastening the sheeting mat here on the framework to make the cutouts for the windows and doors to make the, the openings for the electrical boxes, water plumbing etc etc. Also the handling systems to handle the boards half automatically, fully automatically uh, on top of the framework and then the storage area for the, the window installation and plastering and at the end of to bring it on a platform and on a truck and bring this on on site. We have different technologies as I said the technology for beam processing it's a fully automated processing uh, machine you have the possibility to to work on six sides so that you have not turn the element and prefabricate everything in one step. Then the next technology is for panel processing so it's a huge CNC machine it can run over 50 meters, 50 meters whether you can produce here CLT uh, cross laminated timber or um, uh, 
uh, the cross laminated beams or CLT elements. This is coming more and more that also the if you go in the and the multi-story buildings that you have the combination between CLT and also the the wood framing uh, framing walls. Then we have the multifunction bridge. Uh, as the name is telling, it's multifunctional for fastening. This that means nailing, screwing, stapling, processing like sawing, routing, drilling, labeling, marking, insulating. There is a tool changer on it so that you are absolute flexible and we can um, bring all the things together like the customer want to have this for his demand uh, to, to do all the things and as I said at the beginning that you are open for the future. You don't know what you have to produce and to do tomorrow. Then this is a new uh, de development from us. It's a machine for automatically insulating the panels, whether with cellulose or wood fiber or mineral wool. It, it's running fully automatically and we get also this information direct from the CAT system how much we have to take in, into uh, an opening, we know very well where are the windows, the doors, etc., etc. So, if here on this short video we can see all the steps, all the steps of what we have to produce the elements. First of all, we go in an architecture program. They create the files for the machines, and then. Uh, the machines are coming direct online, uh, the, the files are coming direct online to all the machines and for example the first machine is beam processing center. This machine uh, is reading the file and, and take this file into a machining file. So then we make uh, the cutouts, the holes and so on. Then uh, the next machine and the process will be the framing. It's also a CNC controlled framing station. And uh, all the machines are modular based, like here, for example, with an automatic handling of the starts or with half automatically. So all the machines can be uh, brought together with the different models, like the custom want to have this. Uh, a low automation or a high automation a low capacity, a high capacity, a very flexible system, so for standard houses, low energy houses, or zero energy houses. So also from this, from the thickness, from the wall height, from the wall length, and so on, total flexible. So here it's a half automatic system to take the sheeting on it, with the handling system, it can be also a fully automatic, automated handling system and then the fasteners here, high speed stapling, that means 10 shots per second per gun. And uh, then uh, make the, the cutouts here, as you can see for the windows and doors. Take the second layer on it, like a drywall here, and make again the cutouts and also sawing or routing, like routing here for the electrical boxes. Yeah. And all this information is coming direct from the CAD system. So, and each wall can be deeper into the other one. So then one side is ready, we flip it over with, uh, we call it butterfly turner, to the second side. Then uh, we take the installation in it, like water plumbing, and uh, electricity. Then we close the wall and take also on the outside, the exterior side, uh, this insulation material, here it's cork on it, and bring it in the vertical, go in the wall storage for plastering and window installation and behind uh, the wall storage after the drying time 
we collect the walls together in the right sequence, bring it on the truck and uh, go on the truck on site and then with the prefabricated elements like walls, floors and roof elements we have here the possibility to erect a house with approximately 150-160 square meter living room in 12 hours. So we have started here in the morning and uh, so after 12 hours the whole th house was erected and it looks like what we had at the beginning of the whole processes uh, in the, the architecture program. So this was in a short term uh, the Weinman company and also the product and so also to, to see the processes in one uh, video clip that we have an idea how uh, the whole thing works together. Thank you for uh, to look for it and Renata this was my presentation and now I think we go back and you explain your CAD system to create the files to the wine, for the Weinman machines that we can produce this what we have seen in the video. Thank you. Thank you and thank you so much for a really amazing video. Right now I'm going to continue with um, how to prepare these files and, and how to prepare uh, the model uh, in the architectural uh, Revit uh, pro pro projects. So now um, uh, for framing the house, uh, we use uh, wood framing uh, products, uh, which goes for uh, working and for framing uh, multi-layered framings, including the sheeting together with really complex uh, configurations. Also, it, it automatically detects clash detections, especially if you are working together with MEP guys and, and uh, different um, other uh, systems. Um, so also our wood framing products, they can generate shop drawings automatically and obviously we have also an export to uh, different uh, CNC machines. So first um, I'm going to start with a wall framing. Uh, here we have powerful products, powerful product for uh, working with the walls and for framing these walls and for making shop drawings. And then floor plus, actually the method and technology is the same as it was for the walls, just it frames the floor segments and then again everything could be uh, exported into the, uh, into the drawings and again into different uh, uh, cutting machines. And then uh, we're going to uh, prepare all this, inform all this information from the house uh, to the production line. So we're going to generate uh, um, a VOOP file uh, which will be suitable for, for the Weimann machine. Okay, uh, now I would like to switch my uh, screen to the Revit. Uh, actually, I'm going to show you today two projects. Uh, actually, this one is residential house but with uh, complex layers and with um, different and, and complex um, uh, connections and then uh, uh, also I will show uh, the hotel uh, and here I will show possibilities fra to frame uh, big projects not just uh, the simple and the small ones and actually I will show two projects and all these systems will work on the imperial and uh, uh, metric projects so in my case one project will be metric and another will be imperial now um, I would like to start with the wood framing and um, uh, this is our wall plus which goes for a wall, fr wall framing and uh, maybe first I would like just to show how architectural wall is created. So here we see that there are a lot of layers so there will be a main frame uh, then there will be two uh, layers for the vertical nailers then one layer for the horizontal sidings one additional layer will go for the decoration then the secondary framing will be a, again additional layer in the internal side of our building and then there will be two sheetings from one side. So this is uh, a sample wall and now uh, what we do we're making a link between 
um, between the wall type and the uh, framing configuration. So here I'm saying that I'm going to put into this wall, I'm going to, into this layer, I'm going to put the main frame together with this configuration, then the vertical sidings with again my provided configuration, then for this vertical nailer again I'm going to use another configuration. So actually all these configurations are created only one time and could be used for the future projects, for the next projects and uh, you can share these configurations with your colleagues. Um, and the configurations the framing configurations will bring all information how what will be the distances between the studs uh, what will be um, uh, the top and the bottom plates and so on so now i'm going to select um, uh, different walls from this project and now let's frame these walls so now the tool takes um, uh, takes the configuration settings uh, which were predefined before and it frames uh, the walls from from this project. Yes, and the configuration will include all rules how the wall should be framed. So what will be the distances between the studs, uh, if maybe some additional bridging should be added or maybe some details should be automatically added. So the tool automatically will put all the framing elements into the main frame layer. Okay, so now we're finishing with framing uh, these layers. So here we have uh, these frames. Again, let's take a look into the plan view. So now we are sure that uh, the frames are created in the right layer and also we really have nice looking connections between the windows and around, to, around the windows. Now let's continue and let's add uh, the secondary framing, which is in the internal side. The secondary framing is one more framing layer in the internal side of our building. Again, it has its own specific rules uh, how the frame should be created. And the tool again adds these frames automatically into the layer where it should be. All these frames um, actually are structural framing elements in Revit. And um, uh, later you will be able to use these frames um, in the calculation, in, in pushing this, these frames into the calculation system because it, it, they will have analytical lines. There are real beams as structural framing elements. Yes, again and again we are finishing with framing uh, four walls and we're adding the secondary framing, which is in the internal side of our building. Yes, and we have it here. Again, we can just check it uh, in the plan view. So these layers we have added now. Um, now let's just take a look shortly into the configuration settings and what uh, settings you can just achieve uh, in the framing in, in making this configuration. So you can separately predefine the main frame, then the horizontal nailers, then the horizontal sidings, then the secondary frame, vertical nailers, vertical sidings and the wooden logs. And uh, this configuration will contain and will save all the settings which are listed here down below. Uh, here it's very easy to predefine the settings because it's just very easy to understand and uh, select the elements. For example, in this case, you need to select the families which will be used for the studs and for the plates. Then you have to add uh, element mark definitions, which will be later used in, in making uh, shop drawings. Then some advanced settings if needed. Then you have to predefine the distances between the studs, the top plates, the bottom plate, the, the offsets around um, around the wall. Then with opening framing, you can predefine um, every um, opening, so and the window and the door. And for example, if we're going to the window framing, then you can predefine the kinks and the headers. Uh, there are different types of headers uh, which you can apply automatically. 
then the top plate supports if needed, then the silk plates, the trimmers, then other studs like uh, the top cripples and, and the bottom cripples if needed, and then again the offsets around, uh, around this opening. Uh, then you can predefine very easily L connections. The tool automatically will identify if your corner is external corner or internal corner in the building. Then you can predefine free end connections, uh, then different we have here V connections, uh, then T connections. Then you can predefine the rules for adding uh, bridging, blockings and noggings automatically. Uh, then for adding the secondary stud system, for adding bracings, then for adding additional elements like additional bridging or blockings or additional studs. And then the last four tabs goes for adding the details. So you can just uh, predefine the rule how the details should be added automatically into, into your framing uh, model. So all these settings will be saved and you will be able uh, to share these settings with your colleagues and later use in, in, in the next project. Now, if there is a need to add additional elements and some, something, for example, is not predefined in the regular configuration, then you can go to additional bridgings and blockings, select, let's say, two studs, predefine the number uh, of elements, predefine the distances or spacings between them, and after pressing OK, the tool will add additional uh, bridgings or noggings between uh, two selected studs. Again, uh, if we need to make uh, our um, frame stronger, anytime we can add additional stud into any our predefined uh, into any our predefined place. Then uh, let's continue with adding nailers. Uh, in, in this case, I'm going to select uh, again two walls uh, from one side and two walls from another side of this building and we're going to add nailers. In my case, I have two layers with nailers, so that, that's why there will be eight frames created automatically. I have selected four walls and every wall contain uh, two, two framing layers. So that's why we're going to have uh, eight separate framing layers. And uh, now in the right side of the building, uh, there will be different configurations. In the right side, you will see vertical and horizontal nailers. And in the left side, we will get only vertical, uh, two vertical nailer layers. And again, uh, all nailing uh, uh, features and settings are fully um, changed, fully controlled, and uh, you can predefine uh, your own settings for adding uh, vertical or horizontal nailings. Okay, so we're finishing with creating eight frames. Okay, and we have them here. Uh, and again, let's take a look into this part of our building. Now the final step with the frames, uh, let's add the siding automatically. In this part of the building, we're going to have horizontal sidings. And one additional uh, layer for decoration. It, mainly it will go for the corners. And the siding profile could be changed. Um, you can predefine, actually this is a regular family with the sweep and with the profile. So uh, later if you need, actually you can change everything uh, in these families and you can predefine your own uh, families for, for the sidings and, and for the studs if needed. Yes, here we have these frames. Okay, and um, now um, 
we can actually um, finish with the sheeting. I'm going to change the view into the view with the sheeting. And here we can just take a look into how complex frames we have created. And then we have separate sheeting configuration where you can predefine your own again settings for for the sheeting creation so what will be the distances between the sheetings how it should be split what kind of offsets you are going to apply from the ends or from the corners and again after split sheeting parts you can just select any frame uh, from the wall and the tool automatically will split uh, the wall into the separate sheeting segments and now uh, we are ready to export that into the production lines. Uh, for this we have created CNC exporter and uh, it contains uh, default uh, or simple settings and uh, advanced uh, settings for, for an export. So first let's, con let's start with um, simple settings where you can just predefine project um, uh, information parameters for the name and for the number, then you can also uh, apply element identification settings. Also, I'm saying that um, uh, we have added possibility to, to add two uh, or three wall panels into one uh, file, into one export file. So here we have possibility to uh, select multi panels. And then I'm saying that all layers should be automatically exported, not just the main frame, or we can export only the main frame together with external layers if needed. So I'm going now to ex export all layers. And also let's take a look into the advanced settings. Again, here it's very easy uh, and simple to predefine the settings. You just need to predefine element definition settings. Uh, for the main and for the secondary, for the nailers, uh, for the sheetings. Uh, then um, uh, here we have nailing settings. Here you can predefine the nailing spacings and the nailing type or device index, then the offsets from the, from the two different edges. Uh, then we have the sheeting nailer, nailing, where you can again predefine uh, the offsets and the distances for, for different um, uh, positions. Then we have uh, uh, sheeting trimming where you can predefine uh, which edges should be performed and uh, the tint angles. Then uh, uh, position marking settings uh, where you can predefine again uh, what elements you are going to mark, vertical or horizontal nailers or both together. And then uh, siding trimming. Again, separate tab for the siding trimming. And again, all the settings you can save uh, for the future projects. And now we can just go to the export wall to CNC, select the wall, and the tool is going to create a book file, uh, which we can push into the production line. That's it. Uh, we have created the file which is ready to go and uh, now let's uh, open this file. So I have opened this file with the Vimon viewer. Uh, here we can just uh, check if everything is okay uh, with this wall. If needed we can maybe uh, fix something and actually operators uh, can just review all information about every element. So if I'm selecting the element, I see all parameters and all information which is related with this element. Uh, so I see all operations and the sizes of the element. And then I, now I can push this uh, information and this file into the production line. Okay, uh, now let's continue with, uh, with the floor framing. Actually, the same story we have uh, for the floors. As you can see, uh, the floor plus looks very similar as the wall plus. Again, let's take a look into the wall floor link. Uh, here I have uh, three layers in this floor. And again, I did um, configuration and the link between my framing configuration settings and each every layer uh, from the floor. And now we're ready, ready to frame. Uh, there are two separate floor segments. So now let's frame these two floors.
In this case, uh, the floors will be automatically added with connections or with the details, with the metal details between them. So all these hangers and uh, clip plates automatically uh, distributed in this framing uh, in this frame. Okay, now let's add um, uh, buttons. It will be one more a layer which is below. So we have added the flooring and then let's add the buttons. The layer which will be below the main frame. Okay, and uh, uh, here also with wool plus or, or the floor plus we can generate a shock drawings automatically. Um, just before that, again, let's take a look into the floor segment. Um, also, we can split the sheeting into the segments. So now the tool automatically generated uh, sheeting segments. And now we're ready to make shoe drawings uh, directly in Revit. So in the shoe drawing configuration, you can predefine the settings, um, uh, what kind of dimensions you would like to add, uh, what kind of views you would like to create. Because here uh, we're creating assembly. So we're assembling all elements into one panel and we're creating views automatically, we're adding dimensions automatically, we're making schedules automatically. So this is uh, the dialog where you can predefine your own uh, views and your own view templates, your own schedules, uh, which, which, which are needed to create. And then I'm just selecting the title block, uh, the family which will be added on the circular framing element, uh, the dimensional styles uh, which will be automatically added. And then after saving this, again, all the settings will be automatically saved uh, for all other projects. We can very easily create shop drawings. So in this case, I'm creating shop drawings for my floor number 18. Yes, yeah, so we have this assembly, uh, floor number 18, and we have um, a 3D view, uh, we have a top side view and we the tool automatically added dimensions um, and also the tool can automatically renumber all these elements so here we have source circle framing by mark uh, which automatically renumbers all framing elements uh, according to its length and the type and the same let's do with the circular connections because here we have different details so the details should be also automatically renumber it then we have a top side view with the sheeting the sheeting also is automatically renum renumbered, it. And then we have all the schedules. So we have an, an the part list and a separate schedule for only for the main frame and then only for the sheeting. And now we can put everything into the uh, final sheet. So here I'm going to put uh, the top side view. And then uh, here, let's say a 3D view. Then here, let's add uh, the part list. Then material takeoff, for example, will go will go here. Then maybe a schedule with the main frame. Let's add, for example, here. Also, automatically, the tool will calculate the the weight of this frame. And now uh, we are coming back into our shape drawing configuration, and we're saying that this sheet will be used as a template uh, for the next assemblies. Okay, and now let's create assembly for the next floor panel. So now the tool creates assembly for the floor number three, but at the same time the tool will put all the views into the sheet automatically according to my previous one. Okay, so here we have the floor number three and we can just go directly into the sheet, into the final sheet and we see everything. So we have really nice looking plan view, 3D view and uh, all the schedules uh, which are uh, our predefined. Okay, uh, and now after making the model, after making the shop drawings, again we can export this information into the uh, CNC machine. So here we have an export to the uh, export floors. I'm going to export this floor segment. Okay, again the file is created. And we can just open this file and see the result. Yes, maybe just I will, from here we will see it better. 
Okay, so again, here we have all information about um, uh, the joists and um, the connections, the holes, um, and, and so on. Okay, now let's continue with um, uh, one more project. Uh, I'm going to switch to um, a larger model. This is a hotel. Um, and uh, here I would like to show how you can very easily and how you can save your time on framing not just sm small houses but at the same time uh, really big models and uh, this is a hotel um, which comes from architects and uh, here they have created groups for uh, for this model so we will try to use uh, new technology in the wall frame which will allow us to frame uh, identical walls faster than uh, you usually with with them um, with existing technology but first I'm going now to switch my configuration uh, to uh, another configuration which is suitable for, for this project actually as you can see in your cases also you can have and save different configurations in different locations and and you can share it uh, with your colleagues you can put uh, all these configuration settings somewhere in the network and here uh, let's go into the multi-framing uh, features and now what I'm going to do I'm going to select all walls uh, from one model group and uh, let's frame these walls here we are going to have quite simple framing um, internal walls will be will, will include and will have just one framing layer with the two sheetings from from bo from the both sides and then the external layer will include the main frame and the secondary frame from the external side and also the sheeting from the internal side Yeah, so we're finishing with framing uh, six walls in our selected group and now uh, if we want to um, distribute this information through all the building we have new technology where you can uh, where the tool can find identical walls so we show identical walls the tool can find uh, totally identical walls from this building and the tool can make some such a smart copy uh, into other framing into other walls so now I'm going to use copy or update frames in identical walls I'm going to select any frame from the wall segment and now the tool automatically will frame uh, 33 uh, walls from this project and as you can see it's just um, about uh, two seconds per one frame per one wall and actually we did a test with this technology uh, with this uh, function which allows you to find identical walls and, and to frame them so uh, with working with huge projects it is about 10 times faster than uh, working with a regular framing uh, feature okay so we're finishing with framing 33 walls in this project And um, uh, also now, actually, uh, my frame is without details, but anytime you can add the details if needed. Um, actually, working with the big projects, maybe the details are not mandatory because it can oversize uh, your project and, and your model, but still, if needed, and if you see that your model should be more detailed in the end of modeling process, uh, you can anytime later, you can add the details. So this is... Uh, the one more function where you can just select again any frame and the tool automatically will place the details according to your predefined rules 
Yes, and, and again, the details are automatically added between studs and plates and the anchors and, and the service walls and so on. And now again, if we need it, we can add the secondary framing, uh, uh, which is uh, automatically can be framed. Again, it can be automatically copied to all other identical walls but I will save the time and maybe I will not repeat right now it. And then again, you can, everything, everything could be pushed into the shop drawings. Again, everything could be assembled. Uh, once again, in the wall framing, again, you can predefine the settings for framing the walls. And uh, now let's just create frame assembly for one wall. Again, the tool now collects everything, all elements, from this whole segment and it makes shop drawing so it adds dimensions it generates uh, uh, generates schedules and now we have the 3d view uh, the front side view again in the end we have to remember this so i have to go to the source circle framing by mark for we could automatically remember uh, all our elements according to its type and the length Okay, and uh, then again, we can put everything into the uh, into the final sheet. Yes, one more view with the part list and with material takeoff and separate schedule only for the sheeting, let's say. So again, we have everything. Uh, in our assembly and now again I'm coming back uh, into this view saying that uh, this sheet will be used as a template for the next walls for other walls and again let's create assembly for another wall And if we have identical walls in this project, the tool will generate and will make only one assembly. So it means that uh, the tool automatically will know that there are the walls and the frames are totally identical, and uh, you will need to have only one, um, only one sheet with all counts and with all calculations. And now the final step, we are ready again to push everything into the production lines. Uh, just here, I'm going to the settings. I'm saying that I would like now to to export only the main frame, and now uh, I will combine two walls into one file. So here we are going to export walls into the CNC. I'm selecting two walls in one time, and we're ready to export this into into the file. Okay, and uh, yes, so we're ready to go. And uh, here we have uh, two walls uh, which are automatically framed and uh, uh, which automatically combine it into the one uh, file. And now this file could be pushed into the production line. Okay, so I'm coming back to my slides. Uh, if you would like to test and to try uh, wood framing wall plus or wood framing floor plus you are you you are welcome to download our tools from Vim doc this is like a manager for for downloading for activating the products and for getting the latest updates and you can very easily uh, download tools from Vim doc from our web page um, just choose the version you you would like to obtain and in, and download into your computer and then it's very easy to get a trial just uh, fill the form and you will get activation code which will be uh, valid for two weeks and um, regarding the cnc export um, we are giving it as a separate installation so uh, if you're interested you're welcome to write me a message or an email and uh, we will provide you uh, installations for you could test and see how it's really working.